Namaskaram peeps welcome to another uh, episode of Tech Review by Melbourne Yatri here we're looking at the Sony's FE PZ that is the power zoom 16 to 35 mm lens this is an in body movement lens so when you actually try to zoom from 16 to 35 mm it's not going to protrude away it's an f4 obviously i did not buy an f2.8 because it was extremely expensive as you guys know and i was actually getting an offer when i bought this along with my a7 IV uh thanks to tech they were trying to you know Uh, knock off around four hundred dollars because I bought the body as well as the frame, and I guess that's part of you know the Easter holiday uh, weekend promotion that is going on at their place. So I just opened this up. This is uh, a display lens. That means you know this lens was actually on display. Obviously, it's not extremely brand new, but I was okay with that. You know, I'm not that picky. So obviously, it comes with this very good leather pouch. Open up from the pouch. I just have the lens itself. Let's see what's there inside it. Oh, okay. They basically gave us a lens hood. You know, once upon a time, I used to never use lens hoods at all. But then once I actually bought my Panasonic system and used the lens hoods on it, I really like it. Man. I would definitely not actually use my camera without the lens hood. Definitely, I need to buy a polarizer for this still. But there is some. soft material here cushioning you know to help out the lens so obviously the covers go back in you don't want to throw them openly there is a bunch of paperwork if anyone would like to read but me being me i'm not going to read it you just go watch some youtube channels man what's the point in reading or listen to them okay so this is the uh, lens by itself awesome that's the uh, e mount so obviously you can actually have it either on a full frame camera or aps-c let me put the bubble cover away uh, obviously you basically have the lens cover on the front now this is the lens as i was mentioning earlier as you can see this has no zoom numbers at all okay that's the funny thing about this lens and when i try to zoom it the ring that you're seeing here is the focus ring the ring that you're seeing here is the zoom This is the focus one, the first one towards, you know, the lens cap. The one towards the camera is the focus ring. This focus ring is very small, but there are no numbers on. Okay, it would go from 16 to 35, but because it's all internal zoom, there is no zooming that you can see outside. So this would actually really help me out. I use a Ronin RS3 to go ahead and actually shoot my videos because I'm using a gimbal by using this one. You know, it goes ahead and you know doesn't disturb my calibration of the gimbal, and it actually holds all the stabilization values and where I put it. The other cool things with this one is because it's uh, a power zoom, you can actually have it in um, multiple uh, configurations of the f-stop. As it's a f4, it starts off at f4, and this ring, which is extremely close towards the camera, will actually move across, and either you can put it in a in. Uh, So I think I have to connect to a camera to put it in A, but you can actually put it in A, and when you put it in A, it's automatic and it's controlled by the cam. Or you can manually change the f-stop. It really helps out when you're doing landscape, real estate, you know, family photography, and all that stuff because then you can put it at a particular f-stop and take a picture instead of actually trying to do a bunch of dials actually on the camera and figuring out whether it will work or not. Right. The other thing is, apart from using the zoom ring. You also have this button, the TW button. So what you could do is when you do telescope, that means the lens is going to turn towards the 35 mm, and when you push it towards wide, the lens is going to turn towards the 16 mm. And by using this, just by holding at the same place, you can actually create this cool cinematic effect of trying to zoom in onto a particular subject. You do have a programmable button here, obviously auto or manual focus, that you can actually put. I'm going to leave an auto for most of the times, except when I want to have the perfect picture out there. Well, it's 72 dia. If someone is looking for it, you got to buy all the circular polarizers and the ND filters and all to suit your 72 dia. Obviously, it's f4, pz. That means power zoom, 16 to 35 g lens, which is actually out there. Now it does say at 0.28 meters or 0.92 feet to all the way to infinity, you can just try to go ahead and zoom it, but. That's the way it is now. If I try to show you the zoom, can you see the zoom of the lens with us? 
obviously this is designed by Sony, made in China, interchangeable lens. It's not really that heavy, but it looks big and bulky. But it's not that heavy at all, the lens, including with the hood. Interesting. Well, that's the unboxing. You have the next video where I'm going to put the lens and the camera together. I'll try to show you some shots, but most probably there'll be you know, shots outdoor and some actually indoor for us to go ahead and look at. That's my unboxing of the Sony PC16 to 35mm f4g lens wow that's a mouthful if you do like this unboxing or this video please do go ahead and give me a like that will be awesome for the algorithm it will be really cool if you can give me a sub and uh, please do like and share if you like this content and uh, yeah and then and, and click follow man i'll be coming out with more and more content about these cameras what they do their settings their manuals and uh, how easy to operate or, or set through them take care be safe peace